Of course, the day that I wanna film a day in my life as a student video, my first two classes get canceled. I'm not shocked. <laughs> tell you what is on the oh my lip is bleeding while i'm doing my skincare i am going to basically tell you guys what the agenda is for today i usually have my fragrance labs in the morning so i have the lecture for two hours and then that follows by the lab for a few hours and we were supposed to have a midterm exam today but that got canceled i'm not mad at it i like to sleep in it's usually from nine to one instead i am probably just gonna go to school and get some work done this morning before my third class would have been i have a very annoying class at two from two to five it's called funds of finance for fashion i think i don't even know why we're required to take it because it has nothing to do with the industry so it's kind of weird after that i have a friend who's playing a show in brooklyn so i'm probably going to go to that it's just gonna be a day in the life so i'm gonna get ready <laughs> and stuff it's 11 o'clock this is like weird being home right now like i should be going to my second class i need to take my medication that needs to happen hold on this is your friendly reminder to take care of your mental health if you're struggling there is help out there yeah don't give in to the stigma of medication and the things it can do for you because for me medication changed my life put your own needs first listen to your brain listen to your body and if you need medication it's okay i think i'm gonna actually go to greg's coffee and get a breakfast sandwich i started to drink my coffee this morning and i was just, it was not giving sometimes because of my medication i have like weird aversions to different foods or drinks or flavors and coffee was one of those things so i like to have a backup plan so that i don't kind of crash and burn and so what i usually will do is the gold skin hydration aid i will do a pack of this in water next i'll add a half a dropper to a dropper full of my highline wellness cbd oil with green tea this is kind of like a energy boost i'm gonna pack up my stuff and head towards school <laughs>
disappointed because I thought my morning classes were canceled and they were but also my afternoon class was also canceled which really sucks because I came all the way here and got ready for no reason so now I am gonna try to like actually do something with my day so I'm gonna go to Strand get some books and then also clean my house and also read a lot because I have a lot that I need to read I'm so annoyed because I really did think that I had class this afternoon, which I did not. Hey, hi. <laughs> it's been a few hours, honestly. I was not expecting to have today off, and I never have days off. I was about to go to Strand, but then I was like, you know what, I'm tired, so I came home and I took a fat nap. Um, and now I'm actually gonna go to Strand. After that, I'm gonna come back, get ready for the show tonight. My friend Haza and I are gonna go. Just a really unexpected day, and it's been great to kind of give my mental health some time. Before I leave for Strand, I'm gonna play some guitar, just get some of my emotions out, and then I'm gonna head to Strand. <laughs> back at my apartment. I just sat at Greg's. Okay, if you don't know already, I'm obsessed with Greg's coffee. I want to show you the books that I got and I also really want to talk about this 
wow i started this book yesterday and i have a about 10 pages left can barely put it down honestly it's one of the most beautiful things i've ever read in my life um it's a memoir about corey taylor dying and she's just writing about her life and what it feels like to be dying and just to reminisce and i was at strand like last week i found that there's a death and dying section so i was like let me check this out um if you don't know i a lot of the work that i do creatively philosophically a lot of the writing pieces that sorry my bangs are looking whack and a lot of the writing that i've been working on really centers around dying and death um yes i'm okay it's all good but i do think that there is so little conversation around this topic yet it's the thing that affects every single one of us without a doubt i like to read books like this because this gives me so much perspective things i also got i'll give you a little book haul i'm trying to venture out of my genre that i'm so engulfed in which is philosophy and theory a lot of the stuff i read is very dense the first thing i got is actually for jack um it's this little mini book by emily flake it's called these things ain't gonna smoke themselves a letter to a very bad habit and it's about uh quitting smoking but it's a picture book and jack really likes comic books or things that include visuals or art. I decided to go in the, the music section and I found two really, really, really cool books that I am probably gonna jump into as soon as I'm done with my current readings. The first one is Touching from a Distance, uh, Ian Curtis and Joy Division. It's written by his wife along the same topic. I found this book, it's called Cured my whole heart my whole soul um robert smith this is basically a memoir written by lowell tolhurst who was the co-founder of the cure like if i could be anyone when i grow up it would literally be robert smith like i love him and i'm just so excited to read this so that's what i got i'm about to go to this show <laughs> did not film an outro like i got home from the show last night and went right to bed i was so exhausted so i just wanted to film a quick outro and thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed this spontaneous day where i just kind of vibed i just did what i felt like doing i never have days like that yeah that's really all i have to say thank you guys so much for watching make sure you subscribe if you want to see more new york city day in my life types of videos and i will see you guys very soon in my next one love you guys bye